Well, hello and welcome to this weekly update about Zoho. Uh, in this demonstration, we're going to be talking about the integration between Zoho CRM and Zoho Finance, or Zoho, specifically Zoho Inventory and Zoho Books. Um, so most people may or may not know that from within Zoho CRM, you can connect your um, Zoho Finance environment, um, again, either Zoho Books or Zoho Inventory. And you can synchronize the items from Zoho Inventory to Zoho CRM products module. Um, and you can also, from the accounts module, create um, Zoho Finance sales orders uh, and invoices, as well as estimates or quotes. But the problem is, is that to do that, your users need access to um, Zoho Finance with inside Zoho CRM. And for many customers, many Zoho users, that's not appropriate. In fact, what they really want to do is allow their salespeople to be able to create sales orders from Zoho CRM and synchronize those directly to Zoho Finance. Well, inside the standard um, uh, standard version of Zoho CRM and Zoho, Zoho Finance, you can create a, a Zoho Finance order inside Zoho CRM, but all you're really doing is actually just creating a sales order directly with inside Zoho Finance. You're not actually using the native sales order module that exists with inside Zoho CRM. So this tool that I'm going to talk about today, basically, it allows you to do that. It allows you to create orders with inside the CRM and synchronize those automatically to Zoho Finance. Um, so that one, you can allow, say, your sales team, or your internal sales administrators, or wherever they might be, create orders, sales orders with inside Zoho CRM, and then by the click of a button, or even automatically create corresponding and exact copied um, Zoho Finance sales orders either in Zoho Inventory or Zoho Books. So let's just go quickly and have a look at that working right now. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in the Accounts module inside Zoho CRM. And from here, I can select any account. Uh, let's just click this one here, the Hilton Hotel. Um, and I can actually create an order here. Now I can simply come to the sales order uh, module in the related list and just click plus there and create a sales order and I'll just call it test order. I'll just call it test sync to Z inventory order. Okay, and I've got the account information all there. Uh, I've got the address information basically already there and I'm just going to select the items um, that I want to actually invoice that customer. Um, so I'm going to choose one of those and I uh, just click another one, one of those, and also uh, one of those, and then the customer's ordered 20 of those, and basically we're gonna give an additional discount of 10% there. Okay, and all these are basically in a stable, change the quantities on those. All right, and then any of the other information that you would typically fill out in your um, uh, CRM environment, um, also the tax code that you're going to, if tax is applicable for you, for your customers, and we're gonna save that order. All right, so now you can see, here's that order. We can just open that up, the sales order, scroll down, here's all the information, and here's those items. Now, so, the issue now is, of course, how do you get that into your inventory system or into your finance system such as Zoho Books? Well, it's very simple to do. All you do is click this button here, sync order to Zoho Inventory. Give it a few seconds, and there you go. Um, your order has been created inside Zoho Inventory, and you can see it's also given us the sales order number here. So I'll just close that. Then the page will update. And if I scroll down the bottom, You'll notice now we have a Zoho Inventory URL and a Zoho Inventory sales order number. So I can quickly, uh, simply click that. And because I have access to Zoho Inventory, I can actually open that order in the inventory system. Okay. Um, and so here you can see, there's the sales order number. 
um, you can see the customer that it's been created for um, you can see the items the quantity you can also see that discount that we put in the GST amount or the tax code that's been used and all of that information is in there and then now your inventory team has the order so basically you're enabling your salespeople to create sales orders inside the CRM they could also obviously create a quote, convert that to a sales order, sync that to the inventory system, and now we can um, start processing that order inside the inventory system. So I can mark it as confirmed, and you'll also notice that if I come back into the CRM and I refresh the web page, and I scroll down, I can see now I have the Zoho inventory status as well. We can see that the order has been confirmed. So if we go back into here, we can see that the order has been confirmed. And as I change the status inside the um, uh, inside the uh, Zoho inventory, that status will also be up um, sent back into the CRM. So you can actually um, track the inventory status of your orders inside the CRM. So back in the CRM, if I just basically refresh that sales order and scroll down, there you can see that the order is fulfilled. Okay, so that's very quickly, basically how via the simple click of a button, we can synchronize or copy, create orders from Zoho CRM into either Zoho Inventory or Zoho Books. Um, that's done manually by the click of a button. Um, you can also automate that if you like. So basically on order creation, um, automatically create a copy of that order inside Zoho inventory and then if you really want to take it to the next level and you want to simplify your ordering process even more what you might be interested in doing is using our um, B2B portal which allows your wholesale customers to place orders directly into your Zoho CRM environment so here you can see I'm in our um, in uh, a customers B2B portal I can see the products um, that we've associated to them and then they can order those. So let's just say as an example, they want to order 10 of those and I can put that in the cart. All right, now I can go to their shopping cart. I can see here's the items that they want to order. I can select one of their um, shipping addresses, put in a, uh, put in a, um, uh, a customer reference and process that order okay I'm doing this very quickly okay so that order has been created so if I go back into the CRM and for that account that's just placed that order and I go to their sales orders I can see here here's that um, sales order that's just been created and if I scroll down I can see that here's the items that have been bought and the quantity at the pricing um, that's inside their, uh, their B2B portal, so what's been agreed with them. And then automatically the system has created um, the sales order with inside the inventory system. So you can see here, here's the inventory URL, the inventory status and the inventory sales order number. So I can open that. sales order here now it's in the inventory system ready for the warehouse to um, process the order so I can mark it as complete or sorry confirmed come back into the CRM refresh the page and there you can see the status is confirmed inside the CRM and then if I go back into the customer portal and go to their uh, sorry go to their orders you can see here that that order is now marked as confirmed so you can see the inventory status is flowing all the way from Zoho inventory into the CRM and then to the customer so I hope that was of interest to you. Um, please reach out to, out to us directly if you'd like um, to utilize um, any of our Zoho marketplace extensions um, and uh, we'll be happy to assist you. Thanks very much for watching.